Hello and welcome back to the Sterling Engine Mark III project. Um, so in the last video I tried to run the engine for the first time but it wasn't too successful. Um, so what I've done is I've dragged the engine outside, I've made a few changes which I'll go over in a minute. Um, so I'll, I'll light the thing up and uh, give it a go again. Um, I'd like to say thank you for um, people's comments and advice from last time. Um, some of it extremely useful. Um, a, a couple of people have uh, contacted me. Um, uh, one person even provided some uh, an analytical um, uh, printout of the uh, engine, analysed through a, um, a a Sterling engine program uh, that's being developed by um, top Sterling engine companies. So that was absolutely useful. So um, so all right, I'll get I'll get on with it now. So the first change I've made is I've, I've put on a different a firebox. Um, it doesn't look quite as neat as before with the uh, the rocket stove, um, but in an effort to try and put more heat um, in the heat exchanger, I've got this old gas bottle and um, modified it a little bit. So you've got the air vent there, door, hinge, and right at the end there, if you can see, I'm not sure you can see in the light, um, but the heat exchanger is right at the end. I have actually lit this just to check the actual burner works, um, but I didn't didn't try and start it at the time um, because I hadn't made the other modifications, which I'm about to show you. So the other thing I was thinking was that the flywheel is not quite big enough. Um, the design is a bit problematic to add a bigger flywheel to in the middle um, because there's not really that much room really to add anything of any substantial weight. So what I've done is I've got a big the red pulley there that I've fitted with a V-belt going to a smaller pulley, which is half the size. And I've acquired this rather large um, pulley stroke flywheel, which weighs a fair bit. So now it is geared up. I'll just turn the, uh, open the tap so I don't take my fingers off. I'll do it. Nice view. Right. So now that is geared on that. So I've only ever seen um, a, a flywheel that's uh, geared on, on a few occasions. And that is that. All right, so this is the new starting method. wrap a piece of rope round it and run run <laughs> well, there we go and go well something like that anyhow so I've just installed this pressure gauge what I'm going to measure here is how much pressure um, it builds up on the compression stroke. This will be able to tell us what the compression ratio is. The crank angle is just about over 90 degrees. So, what's that? 100, 120, something like that. Fire not quite there yet. See now that the flames are actually licking the heat exchanger. Let's try that. I'll, I'll spin it over a minute. Let's see what happens. You never know. Oh, 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 are we 
Cheerio. Almost. Oh, I think we're away. Almost. Let's just wait for that fire to get up to uh, temperature remote. I'll just turn the cooling water on as well. Oh, oh, it's away. How about? I was hoping to get it going because um, the, the leather seals and the, uh, the piston liners are still a little bit on the stiff side. I was hoping with a bit of use it would actually free himself up. Um, so it's running. The fire's not quite there yet, actually. If you look at it, it's still smoking fairly badly, which means there isn't a great, great deal of heat in the fire, really. I'm just going to turn the water back on a minute. Now something interesting I've noticed, so this is a one-way valve here, now if I put my hand over it, the engine actually speeds up. Now somebody mentioned this, give this a go. Now I don't know what that means, I don't know whether that means the engine's actually got too much compression and by me putting my hand over it, it reduces the compression stroke. Um, yeah, interesting, very interesting. Well, I'm, I'm glad it's actually running. That's a positive. Because I'll, I'll be honest, over the last few weeks, I've been a little bit down, um, thinking what to do. So I'm happy just to get a thing going for the moment. This is a good starting point. Right, just show you the fire again. Um, I'll just put some wood in so you can't see a great deal. Now the, um, the heat exchanger is starting to get a dull red which is what we're looking for. Now I've just um, changed the phase angle to a 90 degree phase angle. Um, so we'll see, see if we can get it going or not. Let's see what happens. So at the moment, the snifter valve, the one-way valve that lets air into the engine is open. So it gets going at 90 degrees, but in a minute, you should find it's going to stop again. If we look at the um, pressure gauge, it's reading uber one bar. Actually, I'd say it's about 1.2 bar, which is really high compression, really, for this kind of engine. So what I think is happening... <laughs> is because of the elevated pressure going through the heat exchanger, it's actually taking the heat out of the heat exchanger too quickly. So what I'm gonna do just to um, continue experimenting is to turn the crank angle the other way. Um, it's not a completely fair um, experiment because as, as I've been playing around, um, the fire's been getting hotter and hotter. So I'll just go back the other way to see what happens on the phase angle. Alright, so this is running at 140 degree crank angle. Uh, roughly 140 degree, I should add.
So that, that crank angle is about 120 degrees now, which I think is uh, probably like the happy place for it already. Which, uh, funny enough, on the last two engines I've built um, with the Alpha engines, 120 degrees is, has been where we've kind of ended up really. Well, there you go. That was a bit of fun. Um, I'm quite glad it's actually run for the first time, which is a which is a good thing. Um, yeah, so tell me what you think, really. Um, any comments, uh, advice, improvements, something like that? Because um, I don't think this is quite the finished item yet. Um, I'm sure it's going to need a bit of a few changes here and there to um, to make it a slightly better engine. Um, yeah, so I'll see you next time. Bye bye.